and he's as cunning and as lethal as they come. What is up, Gorilla Nation, and welcome back to another Division 2 video. It's some awesome news that we received today uh, with the Warlords of New York. This is the trailer, a uh, little bit of it anyways, playing in the background, but I wanted to focus on what you see later on in the trailer. We know we're going back to New York. We know we're going to be fighting Keener, um, but there's some other elements also. We're going to be getting new exotics. Along with that, you will be seeing those in a moment. But most importantly, for all you PvP fans out there, changes to the Dark Zone, and they are as followed. Alright, starting at the top of the list, Dark Zone Improvements. Dark Zone XP is now only obtainable through player-to-player -player interactions, successful extractions, and the collection of supply drops. Next, all Dark Zone loot is now contaminated and needs to be extracted. That's good, more extractions, more people to kill, and more people to loot. Don't judge me. Rolls on items are now visible before extraction. That's great because if it's trash, you don't even have to pick it up and you can put it in your bag and it won't even be, won't even be worth extracting, but you can actually use that to bait uh, players into trying to come and uh, hijack your extraction. Next, VoIP will now default to open mic with the option to set it to team only or turn off entirely. New dark zone currency obtained by stealing and killing other agents. The ability to see all players within a 100 meter radius in the social menu. Signature weapons and their ammo is now removed from the Dark Zone. That is my favorite takeaway. Now those uh, supply drop reliance that are dependent on their specialist weapons because that's the only way they can kill people. Well, no more crutch for you. So that's great. Uh, removed the Grey Heroic status. Added an extra extraction site per Washington DZ Dark Zone and more so i wanted just to hit over those exact points right there as you see on your screen i'll leave them up for momentarily so that way you can read over them uh, especially since my grammar is just horrible but at least i know how to read that is one good thing but that is absolutely awesome news and there's still tons and tons to dig through to cipher and to uh get all the goodies that we are beginning with the warlords of new york are you excited to go back to New York. Yeah, it's going to be a little different, uh, but we are getting some changes, some long overdue changes. Uh, and yes, I mean, I'm excited to actually go back to New York. I kind of dread running into the dreaded yellow snow. Uh, it always kind of made me sick to my stomach. And I, I must say, uh, do not eat the yellow snow. But as far as the gear changes that we are getting, um, we're getting, you know, all these new bosses, uh, some revamped vision of the old Rikers, the what I call the pissers. Um, I do would say that the big heavy pisser, the flame dude, needs to be fatter, just like in Division 1. But other than that, I really have nothing to complain about. You've already seen a little bit of those pissers in the Coney Island footage that those videos are up on the channel. So definitely go check them out. But it is Liddy Flagitty up in here. I'm just ecstatic. And let's not forget those exotic weapons. We have the LMG, which is also known as the Bullet King. Also, we're getting, uh, you know, some new gear. That pistol looks absolutely awesome. That looks like another double barrel. There's the Bullet King LMG to where you do not need to reload. There is the uh, Lady of Death, which is an SMG that is uh, more or less benefits you for your movement and speed and of course there's an aug there as well um, there's other details and you can find a little bit more information about those exotic weapons uh, if you just rewatch the post show of the state of the game they do you know drop little nuggets here and there as far as that's where the names of the exotics came from but their exact you know talents that come on them they are a little vague so some more information is yet to come but march the third um, this Warlords of New York will be dropping, and I cannot wait. I'm just so ecstatic. I just wanted to bring you a little bit of a short video, more or less just going over and detailing what I find is most important when it comes to the Dark Zone and uh, Be Gone Special Ammo, added another extraction, uh, contaminated items, uh, everything has to be extracted. That's just, you know, very encouraging, and hopefully the loot drop there in the Dark Zone will be just as good. But now that you can actually see the stats... And attributes or whatnot on the pieces, um, like I said, you can make it, uh, don't even have to pick it up, 
but yet you can use it kind of as bait, put trash items in there, wait for rogues to uh, come to your extraction, and then pounce upon them. Uh, but generally speaking, most people are going to think, oh, well, it's an extraction. They're trying to get out something good. So there's going to be more engagement in the Dark Zone. And a lot of people say that this game is dead, but I must say that it's far from dead. I'm in the DZ daily, and there's tons and tons of folks in there. Uh, as you can see with the gameplay PvP videos that I actually put up. And I try to do those four or five a week. So stay tuned for those. Also, um, as soon as Coney Island Episode 3 drops first thing in the morning, even though I've already played it on a PTS, I will be live streaming it from start to finish uh, as soon as Episode 3 drops. So tune into the channel for that live stream. I'm just so ecstatic and so excited for Warlords of New York. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm eager to hear your opinions and your thoughts as far as what's coming in year two. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you fudging later.